I'm Lisa from Royal Lizard and I'm sitting here with... Asian Bards. <laughs> Could you please introduce yourself? I am Sara. I am Simone. Um, how you do, do you do today? Very good. <laughs> it's awesome. been a, a very awesome day. Started with a, a little haste, but uh, you know, with all the mud and stuff. But uh, it's been great. Awesome crowd, awesome concert. We had a blast. We're very happy. I think you posted um, that we need some Italian sun, and you bring it to us. <laughs> yeah, we tried to bring it. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was so bad yesterday. Um, this noon you had your first gig in Wacken. How was it for you? It was uh, well, amazing. I mean, I I've been to Wacken the first time 15 years ago, and it was um, a dream come true to play here. And uh, you know, even if the weather condition wasn't that good, but anyway, the crowd was amazing, and we had a hell of a good time. I think they uh, sang your name, Sarah. Sarah, how was it a feeling? Uh, really, they did. <laughs> yeah, I honestly didn't notice because I was so okay. pumped with, you know, adrenaline, adrenaline and stuff. Oh my god, that, that wow! <laughs> What do you think about the Wacken Festival? It, it's well, the word "awesome" always, always comes to mind because it's so huge and big and very well organized. It have everything is on point, and it's really amazing to have uh, the opportunity to play here. And we feel very lucky and happy, really, it's, it's, it's amazing. You call your music symphonic, epic power metal. Could you explain a little bit? Oh, well, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, actually, I, I think it's epic. Uh, the, the first word that comes to mind, thinking about ancient bards. Actually, I'm the latest guy in the, in the band, but anyway, I was always amazed by the, those guys and uh, I knew them from a long time and their music is awesome our, our music is awesome <laughs> do you really feel a part of it yeah yeah of course it's a family and uh, it's amazing you already released um, three albums the aliens of kings soulless child and a new dawn ending which are part of the album trilogy uh, the black crystal sword saga Uh, when I listened to the first uh, sounds of your first album, I thought, yes, yes, yes. But after reading the lyrics, I said, no, no, no. Um, how important are the lyrics to understand your music? Uh, I mean, if you want to really follow the story, they're pretty important. Because, yes, of course, when you're telling something, uh, of course, we have to omit, to leave some details behind. So it's not very clear at the, at the beginning but uh, the lyrics are very important to know what actually is going going on and uh, yes I, I, I am personally I am a lyric fan I, I liked a good song with a good lyric but in this case you know it's always swords and fights and everything epic so <laughs> you can escape that <laughs> yeah. um, Do you know how Daniele gets the idea to write the story? I'm sorry? Do you know how Daniele gets this idea to write the story? I, I really don't know. He's very influenced by uh, fantasy stories uh, from uh, The Lord of the Rings or uh, Japanese video game stories like Final Fantasy. He, he uni maybe his brain is like a huge melting pot. He, he imagines... He started writing the, the saga when he was 16 years old at school while the professor was, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, I don't know how really he thought about the whole story, which, which is very long. And uh, that's it. He, he just he, he's very influenced by those kind of stuff and he just put, put it together and made his own. And do you like um, this epic stuff? Uh, do you like any fantasy story? Yeah, I guess uh, we're we're all uh, uh, into fantasy, and maybe uh, Daniele, the keyboard player, that also uh, wrote the the, the 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 whole saga, is really into Final Fantasy, and uh, the saga is quite influenced by by that, rather than. Uh, uh, like the European fantasy, like Lord of the Rings or 
uh, Game of Thrones or whatever. But yeah, well, we're always we're we're nerds in the end, <laughs> right? So we love fantasy and and dragons. In which way are you involved in the um, process of development of the album, the other bandmates? Well, the huge, the, the most part and the f bigger framework of the the songs and of the album is, is everything in, is uh, made by Daniele. He's the main composer. When he gives the st the the material to us, we all give our. I mean, uh, Claudio does his solos. Martino. Uh, Thinks about the bass lines and stuff. Um, I take care of the lyrics, and uh, then everyone gives this little hint of, of himself in, the, in their job. I mean, um, and then everything comes to shape. <laughs> I think I was not the only one who was very curious about the ending in a new down ending. What were the fans' di uh, uh, reactions? Uh, we we receive a lot of you know um, private messages on our face, Facebook page saying when is the new album coming out because we need to know what's happening next and why is Zender dead if he's dead what what is this thing that is coming out it, we, I, we try to create a little hype and uh, we're we're glad that it kind of happened you know, it people worked. are curious. <laughs> Um, I think uh, due to the final, you used more choir, um, right? I'm sorry, did you, you use more choir due to the final? Yeah, chapter yeah, the choir. Yeah. What else changed in the sec uh, third album? Well, not much. You mean the basically in the, the production uh, process? It's basically the same. We. The first one we recorded in another studio, uh, but with the same producer, so it's almost, you know, the same. Sarah, In My Arms is a very emotional song and you're singing it uh, so good. Um, <laughs> how, uh, um, how do you like it? And I think it's very good to present it live today, uh, because normally on Wacken um, you don't see many ballads. Mm. Uh, I love ballads because I'm a, hu I'm a huge ballads fan. I, I love the sad, struggled songs. I really, really like them. So In My Arms is a very important song for me. I like to sing it a lot. And uh, since it's our single, we thought it would be appropriate to play it today. And I guess the crowd liked it and we're, we're very happy with that. And uh, yes, I like it very much. It's a very feminine song and since I'm the only woman in the uh, band. I, I always like to emphasize the feminine side of things. <laughs> But do you like the song too? Yeah, it's one of my favorite. I mean, ah. even metalheads can have a heart <laughs> in the end, <laughs> right? <laughs> and it's it's also very emotional to play and, uh, and to see, you know, the reaction. Not maybe not the fists and the horns and the the screams like the regular heavy metal, uh, you know. Routine, but I uh, think I saw somebody with tears down his face. It's so sweet. <laughs> I cried too when I first listened. Uh, really? Yeah. It was one of three songs that made it to me. Oh, oh. it's an honor. <laughs> I'm sorry we made you cry, but it's, you know. <laughs> and if you have to choose one song from the new album uh, for a favorite, what would it be for you and why? Well, uh, I guess my favorite one is Flaming Heart. Because uh, it's uh, really, you know, um, it's moving and uh, it's powerful and it's really epic and it captures also the a different style of Asian bards in uh, regards of other, you know, power metal, Italian power metal. I, I think the Asian bards uh, are usually compared to Rhapsody, which is uh, like like a natural comparison but I think the latest album and especially Flaming Heart and those kind of songs can uh, present a different band, a very different band from Rhapsody of Fire and whatnot. It's my uh, second favorite too. Oh uh, cool! <laughs> and yours? Well I have to say that for that feminine side reason I always like the track number five of every album because they are the yeah. Sheena Bates songs. 
my favorite one has to be in my arms, but I also really, really like how that is true. Is it hard to sing as a boy because you represent uh, boys the other time when you're not Sheena? Oh no, I, I don't think so. I, re I don't think I represent boys, but you know, it's just that, especially in my arms, it really brings out the sadness of this poor woman, the lungs, the really hurt one. While everything, everybody's battling, but she's the for her. <laughs> um, how does the cooperation with Rhapsody of Fires Fabio Leone developed? Oh well, we we asked him if he would join us and, and sing a song for us, and he was very very enthusiastic and, and happy. Yeah, so he did he did it at a, in his studio. We we did a met when. We didn't meet when we when he recorded, but yeah. But wasn't it a little bit oil in the fire for the stupid people who say you are just a copy of Rhapsody of Fire? <sighs> Is there still people saying that? <laughs> no, I yeah. read it, but I don't think so. Uh. <laughs> no, yeah, but in a way, we owe to Rhapsody. I can't say we, we don't owe to Rhapsody something. We are not copycats, we're not trying to, to be. But I think it was a, some sort of, tri not a tribute, I don't know, a, a mention of honor <laughs> to, yeah. to them. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's like, uh, it was dangerous maybe, <laughs> but, uh, but in the end, it, it showed a different, you know, a different style. I mean, if you listen to, a copycat of Rhapsody with the Fabio Leone sing singing on it, that would be Rhapsody, right? But that song is not Rhapsody at all, so it shows a different band in my point of view. Um, Sendos Death is not really the end. Will there be another album uh, to continue the story? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> there will be another album, maybe more than one about the saga, so yeah, it's not over. It's good. Um, <laughs> on Facebook, you uh, write something about uh, a cappella routine. What does it mean? And what's? <laughs> oh, it, it happened when we were uh, before a gig. We had a lot of time because we arrived early, and we were just, you know, joking around, and we started singing. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight, and then everybody started going and we mow it oh, we, then we recorded a video and we uh, thought it would be funny to post it online and say that that was the way we warmed up for a show so we were trying to look we were looking for another song to to sing to, for a new rehearsal for a new warm-up session but yeah you know acapella means just you know vocal just vocals uh. <laughs> are you able to sing too i'm sorry are you able to sing too Yeah, well, uh, not like He Sarah. <laughs> I, I growl, I, I, yeah. I make shouts. <laughs> Mainly, yeah. Make and sing. <laughs> Do you have a funny backstage story? Funny backstage story. All right. Uh, uh, well, well, today the backstage story, it's uh, that we, we didn't saw any backstage because <laughs> we were so late, uh, stuck in the mud, and uh, we, we couldn't load out and then... We were like one hour and a half late to you know, to set up all, all our stuff, and it was really anxious. So when I saw the backstage at the end of the show, I was like, "Oh, we we, we did it finally!" <laughs> But uh, apart from that, I I don't know. Every it's a uh, it's in ancient parts. It's uh, a bunch of good old friends. Uh, every time we go on the road, and uh, we are. We, we have a, uh, a, a hell of a good time, so yeah. there's plenty of. <laughs> we laugh all the time. I couldn't pick just one because every time it's just fun, fun, fun. Everyone is just silly. So. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the time when we recorded The Lion Sleeps Tonight, that was kind yeah. of a funny story. <laughs> um, what are your future plans? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, we will embark on a tour, maybe. We get the chance to. We we are going to get back in the studio, maybe in the early 2016. Maybe sometimes you want to come back to Germany. Let's hope so. I mean, Germany it's uh, the the land of heavy metal as I see it, and Bakken is, I think, the, the most amazing and the most 
the biggest metal festival ever. So that's so we can come back to Germany as soon as possible. And also Aachen, of course. We played last fall. We played in uh, Berlin, Bremen, and. Uh, certainly want to come back. Do you have last words for the fans? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Last words for the fans? Ah, last words for the fans. Thanks for everyone who came to today. It was amazing. Thanks for the Sarah choruses. I didn't hear. I'm sorry. <laughs> And we hope to see you all someday from some stage anywhere in the world. Yeah. <laughs> hey, stay epic. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.